gum. I know. I don't care. Spit it out. I don't know where. Do we have specific seats? Nope. I don't know why, but I want to sit at the very side. I want to sit at the very side. Oh. Lovely. Did you brush your teeth this morning, Logan? Huh? Did you brush your teeth this morning, Logan? Nope. Thank you. Why is that? Nothing all this close. Oh. <laughs> You're like all way that's got like a hundred pills in that. Nope, just rocks and gum. Rocks? You still carry rocks around? They're like polished gems. Like so you've upgraded from playground rocks. They used to bring 20 pounds home in your backpack. Some fancy $30 rocks. <laughs> nice. Except they were only $5 for, the, for a it's handful. It's a natural progression. It's okay. Can't, people can't be able to see your light though, too. So we'll see if it goes again. I turn. Do, when you're on, do not disturb. Um, the flashlight won't turn on. Is that true, Dylan? I think so. You're fine. Don't have to worry about it. Little sayings. In the seats. What side? What does it say? Oh, in the universe, nothing is lost. So next time you use your phone, quote that. Go, Dad. But Sandra, oh, my camera. Sandra Jane Newton says, "In the universe, nothing is lost." Try it. See what happens. What does yours say? Enjoy the wonders of the universe on that side. All right. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Good. Good. Are you excited to be in here? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we have a pretty fun show for you today. But officially, welcome to the Wedding Elizabeth Macmillan Planetarium. My name is Elsa. I will be your presenter and guide for the beginning of this show. We have Connor in the back. You saw him on the way in, but you can turn around with him back there as, again if you would like to. But today we are watching the animated film Zula Patrol Under the Weather. So it's an adventure all about exploring different types of weather systems on other planets. So we'll get to fly around the solar system a bit, so that'll be pretty fun. Before we get started though, just a couple um, things to make you aware of. First, if you have a cell phone, we ask you keep that turned off and put away, as well with any food or drinks, just to make sure we minimize distractions for not only yourself, but other people around here as well. Now, since the dome does go all the way around your head, the full 360 degree view above you, it can create a immersive experience. So at some points, it might feel like you're actually flying around. Some people really like that feeling. Um, if you start to get dizzy or uncomfortable, it happens a lot. So a couple things you can do. You can close your eyes for a few seconds, take a few deep breaths, or at least take your eyes away from the screen. So look at something not moving, like your feet or the chairs in front of you, railings on the walls, 
anything to remind your brain that you're really here in a healthy planetary in feet and not actually out flying around through the solar system. But if you would like to leave the theater, you're welcome to do so. We ask you to use the opposite door you came in, so the one above your left shoulder, for during the show and also at the end of the show. But you keep in mind that the second door will close and lock behind you. So there's no readmittance, just for everyone's safety. So that being said, make sure all children are accompanied by an adult, whether it's here in the planetarium or out in the museum. All right, and I'll be back down here at the end. We can ask, see if anyone has any questions, or we can just talk about the film of what we saw. And with that, I will see you in a bit and enjoy Zoom Patrol. Space, a silent void where nothing stirs, no sound is heard. No. Hey, I'm what are you watching? Oh, oh, what is it? The endless silence, <laughs> the eternal hush, <laughs> the quiet! <laughs> Shush, that's better. Now, let's check in on the Zulu Patrol. scattered showers, and one hailstorm. Check. That's the last thing on the list. Time to head home. That's right, Zula Patrol. Your list is complete, but mine has just started. <laughs> well, Malto, you've got everything you need now for your weather research. A sample of every kind of weather on Zula. Wow, I didn't know there were so many different types of weather. What exactly is weather anyway? Excellent question, Wizzy. Why don't we check in the Multopedia? You see, weather is when it's cold or hot outside, or raining or windy. 